San Diego Airedale Terriers hike. This is a hike in uh, Mission Trails Regional Park, and I'm filming it with my Insta 361X. That's a 360 degree camera. And at the moment, or here you can see, uh, you can see actually, the camera is on a little selfie stick, and right now I'm, I have it on my left shoulder. The camera really doesn't move. All the movement, um, I mean, the different angles and stuff and the effects like you're seeing now, we're going into what's called a tiny planet effect, are done in post-production. This is one of my favorite trails here in San Diego. As I said, it's in Mission Trails Regional Park, and the entrance for this trailhead is at the junction of... Uh, Jackson Drive and Mission Gorge Road. There's a little parking lot there. And the trail starts downward, so it's pretty easy to start out. And um, what I like about it, it's pretty wide. So this was taken, um, I think, in um, February. So we don't have to worry too much about rattlesnakes, but right now, uh, there are there are quite a few, so uh, I always scan the trail ahead, especially by the edges of the trail, to keep an eye out so the dogs don't run into them. Not uh, keeping them right on the center of the trail now because it's uh, cooler out, and so the chances of running into one now uh, I mean, at the time I did the video, a kind of rare. Right at the bottom part of this trail, which you'll see in a minute, is the San Diego River. Um, this time of year um, is when you find water in it. In another, well, I'd have to say probably from July through September, a lot of times... There's absolutely no water in it at all, and you could walk right across. Now, this is a big park. It's actually the largest regional park uh, west of the Mississippi. A lot of different hiking trails. And here you can see we're coming to a intersection of trails here. And right in front of me is the, uh, the trail goes right toward the river. But like I said, this time of year, it's uh, pretty, pretty full with water. So I go around a little to the left. And there's a way to get around the river. I think there must have been an old dam back here or something. Uh, so when there's a little water, this is the way to go. You know, here you can see the, uh, the old foundation. Because it, the camera is up on my shoulder on the stick, you can see we're running into some branches and stuff. So now you, you turn over here and this is the way across. Uh, there's quite a bit of water here now, so actually uh, you have to do the stepping stone thing. And once you cross the river, and I actually have here, you're in another part of San Diego. It's called Tierra Santa. And on this side of the trail, it starts to go up. And uh, it's a real good exercise, a good walk for both you and, uh, and your dogs. I don't know if you can see the marker, the yellow marker in the river there. That's on the main path when there's not water. You walk right by that. That shows the height of the water in the river. Here we are back on the main path, now on the other side of the river. Now I switched the selfie stick now into my uh, left hand. 
and I'm going to be holding it out in front of me. So now it's more like a real selfie stick. And also this time of year, uh, you do run into this other um, part of the trail that gets a little flooded. Again, really no problem to go right through it without getting wet. And right on the other side, you make a little turn and the trail really starts to head up on a much steeper angle. If you look around, you see it's, uh, you don't really think you're in the city of San Diego here. You think you're out in the country someplace. And that's what's really nice about this place to go on hikes with your Airedales. I mean, they love it. Every afternoon they come up to me uh, when it gets around that time and they, they say, hey, let's go for that walk. We vary it up to different places. Now, if you look carefully, you see the shadow of the selfie stick. You won't see the selfie stick because when the two lenses are, are uh, stitched together, the video, it eliminates what's right in the center of that stick. But you do see the shadow. I'll give you a better look at that coming up here in a moment. I'll point it out. And there it is right there. And you can see right at the top of that is the camera. It's a very thin camera. doesn't weigh much at all. fits right in your shirt pocket. There you can see that's the front of the camera. Again, it's an Insta 361X. Here's the side where you can see both lenses. And the camera stitches both of those videos together into one. All right, so now we're, uh, we're going to be heading up the trail a little bit. If you're interested in getting some more information about this great little 360 degree camera, I put a link in the description below directly to the manufacturer and you can check out all the specifications there. And also, if you purchase one through the link, the manufacturer usually offers uh, some extra incentives such as a free selfie stick or a lens covering case. So check it out if you like. If you enjoyed this Airedale Terrier video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, you might want to go to our very popular Airedale blog where we post these videos with additional photos and then mark the blog as one of your favorite sites. Thanks for watching.